If you look at the longer end-to-end -end business process, when you're trying to clear an unmatched disbursement, there's a lot of lift happening on identifying, doing the research and identifying what that corrective entry needs to be. So we recognize that even as we were deploying the RPA only component for the data entry and saying, you know, this is an opportunity to circle back on and potentially use additional technology to help with that research portion up front. And how can we then research what needs to happen, what's the corrective entry, and then feed that to the, the RPA automation for the corrective entry to happen. We had an interesting use case recently, uh, the development of a solution to meet the requirements of the National Defense Authorization Act. One important task from this legislation was to insert telecommunication security language into all of our contracts. At the time, the deadline was August 13th, 2020. We had approximately 2,700 active contracts and it takes a procurement professional approximately two hours to complete the entire modification process. So worst case scenario, that means about two and a half years for us to get this task done. Again, remember the deadline was August 13th. We needed a faster method, which is what led us to an emerging uh, technology solution. We had had recent success with our Data Act bot, which is used to correct errors in the data system. So we explored pivoting that bot to include contract modifications in bulk. So we evaluated what the process could look like. So bot development took about two weeks and we added in some change management efforts. So the entire pivot took about a month. After the bot was operational, the process that would have taken approximately a year now only took three days. So, you know, the AI will look at the document, will determine what kind of document it is, where it needs to go, what information we need from this document, where to place it into our system. Does the, docket now, the document now need further? Does it need to go anywhere? Do we need to email it? Does it need to send out subpoenas? I mean, really, we're training it uh, to do uh, a lot of things. And, and like I said, the more the technology has grown and we understand it, um, and we could think of things, you know, I sent out an email last week to the whole uh, organization and it's just opened up a whole new world for us. And like I said, we were able to uh, docket things. We're docketing them almost 20, 20 hours a day. You know, an attorney could be at home, you know, at, at 4 a.m. in the morning, want to put a document on before he gets off that computer. He's getting an email back saying it's been docketed. Everybody's been notified. So our initial, initial AI ML capabilities, you're going to see them start off on mission support functions um, and looking at documents and providing recommendations. And I can see, I project in the next few years, you're going to start seeing it in the field and it's going to be doing a lot of operational work in support of these individuals who are out there.